Hey guys, I'm Chris with Blacktop Racing, and please check out the last video that we just posted that tells you everything you could possibly ever want to know about the LED headlight bulb. Now, in the sports car market, LED headlights are becoming a huge deal. Everybody is moving from the HID kits to the LED headlight bulbs. That's by far what we get the most requests about in terms of headlight lighting. And we're finally going to bring something to you guys that we can stand behind that is proven to be brighter than the sock headlight bulbs and is proven to be brighter than any other bulb that we've tested. As you can see on the table in front of me, we've tested a ton of light bulbs. And what we found is that the new GTR lighting Gen 3 Ultra Series LED headlight bulbs like this one are the best performing that we've tested. Literally, out of 35 different styles of LED headlight bulbs, in a dozen different styles of headlights, these perform the best. They have the best beam pattern, they have the best light output brightness, and they have the most usable light on the road. So this is the way we're gonna do this. We have the OEM 2014 Jeep Wrangler JK headlight housing, which has been the same since 07 and up. And we're going to start with the OEM halogen bulb. This is a really nice condition Philips 55 watt uh, halogen light bulb. And then we're going to go through and test the other bulbs. We're going to do both low beam and high beam. The cameras are set up on manual settings, so they shouldn't adjust or change. And the red device next to the wall on the tripod is our lux meter. Um, the, the, the range is 2000 times 10 and it's set at a max lock. So I'm gonna kind of paint the meter with the lights and we're gonna find the maximum lux per light. So this one should be about done. This is the stock halogen bulb on low beam. And it says 51 times 10. So max lux on low beam is 510. Now if we go to high beam, we'll give it some time to find the brightest source of the light. And it says, 76 times 10 is 760. Now let's put in what looks like the VLED's LED headlight bulb. So now here's the low beam on the white ceramic bulb that looks like what VLED's is selling. I'm not really sure what's going on with the, the beam pattern. And we really can't find a hot spot. This is the ceramic one with the long flexible heat sink and the max lux that we're finding here is 31 times 10 is 310. So less bright than the original headlight. Look at this high beam pattern, it's awful. And it's actually less bright than the low beam, which isn't too surprising with an LED headlight, but it's way worse than the stock. It's at 24 times 10, so only 240 lux. Now this is the bulb that looks like what Oracle is selling and this one's actually kind of designed pretty cool because it has this ball bearing adjustment setting where you can adjust the way the beam pattern works and obviously it makes a huge difference. So for this one, we can actually have an appropriate beam pattern. The max lux at 25 feet for the bulb that looks like what Oracle is selling is 55 times 10, so 550 lux. And now when we turn it to high beam, you get this odd pattern. So then on high beam with this bulb, obviously it doesn't make any sense to change the pattern because this is what worked well on low beam. We're at 350 lux. So here's the Putco Night Lux LED bulb. It's kind of awful looking, weird colors, weird shape. It's not adjustable. And max lux at 25 feet is 210. Then if we turn on high beam, it looks a lot better, but it's still not very bright and there's still no hot spot. Max flux at 25 feet on high beam is 280, still less than the original halogen bulb. And now here is the new GTR lighting Gen 3 on low beam. What you really want to look out for is a really tall beam pattern. So I like that this one's fairly narrow. And of course the lux is the most important thing. Lux on this one is 970. When we go to high beam, you get this beam pattern and the Lux changes to 590. So that's a taste of the four most popular LED bulbs out there today. And trust me, we tested way more, but it didn't matter. The GTR Lighting Gen 3 bulb blew everything else out of the water. 970 Lux 
over 510 of the original. Now, why are we measuring lux? You know, we can talk about lumens all day long. Everybody's obsessed with the brightest lumen, but that's not a very accurate representation of the actual brightness in front of your vehicle, not to mention the beam pattern. Did you see some of those beam patterns? They were awful. Even if it's a higher lumen, you wouldn't want that beam pattern. There's more that goes into a good LED bulb than just the lumen rating. It's important to have a good lumen rating, but then it's also important to have good engineering on the bulb so that when you put it into the headlight housing, it actually creates a good beam pattern light down the road. And that's what we're seeing with the GTR lighting bulbs. Twice the lux, that's the intensity, the amount of light at a certain point, at a certain distance in front of your vehicle. Not all the extra light that's up in, in the trees, we're looking at the lux. That's what you should be considering when you buy your next set of LED headlights. You can find these bulbs that fit your car at our website at www.blacktop.racing. Please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of videos like this, educational, testing, demos, install, and you can find us on Facebook, Google Plus, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.